welcome all of his glory nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's take five. Today's take five is the battle has begun. It's war. Um, you're starting to feel the, reber the, uh, the, ver the reverberations of war. Uh, what's going on uh, in the d dimensionality around us and also what's going on in the physical realm. It's intensified, intensified, and intensified. So there's many things that we're going to go over today. Uh, many moving parts, many uh, pieces of um, um, discernment. We have to be discerning of the times. We have to be discerning of the people who uh, are giving us this information. Uh, because some black hats became white hats, white hats became black hats. And we have some gray hats playing two hats. Uh, so get rid of the white hats and gray hats and go with your His Glory hats. How about that? All right, we're going live on His Glory TV. Welcome to our His Glory TV. Our audience is growing leaps and bounds on His Glory TV. Matter of fact, I did a Google search, a Yahoo search, and a Bing search, and His Glory TV is number one. How about that? How about that? Yippee! Join us. Uh, Friday, we will do uh, blessings, Dennis. God bless you all, and blessings, Dennis, for all that you do for His Glory and uh, being a moderator here on His Glory TV. Um, uh, for Friday, Q&A. We'll do the live Q&A again um, uh, at four o'clock. Uh, we will answer your Q&A. Um, got, got a lot of good announcements today. Um, first good announcement, kudos to Don. Don pulled off a great, great thing. We were blessed by uh, Don doing some research. As some of you may know, Don was researching uh, getting an app for His Glory. He closed the deal last night. His Glory is getting an app. We will have a big app. So we're, our, um, we're looking at about uh, four to six weeks before this app is uh, out there. It has to go through the approval of Apple and it has to go through the approval of um, uh, Roku, uh, Amazon, and uh, Google. So it will be on the Google Store. It will be on the App, Apple Store. Uh, it will do everything. It will, it will go live, His Glory TV, right from the app. So you'll be able to get there. Once you get the app, you'll be able to um, uh, put set notifications on there. So you'll be notified. Uh, great stuff. And they gave us a deal. They gave us the setup for free. I checked, it, I checked this thing out. Uh, about four years ago, and it was like $5,000 to do an app, a setup. I said, we can't afford that. And then something like $500 a month to do that. And they gave us the setup for free. Free, free, his glory is being blessed. It got done. Uh, so we will, be, um, we will be on your iPhone uh, for Apple. You'll be on your iPhone, your iPad, and get this, Apple TV. Apple TV is going to be a 800 pound gorilla in the new streaming. So you'll be able to get His Glory live on, his, on Apple TV as well. Not to mention on all Android, Google Play, and Amazon Fire Stick, and Roku, and much, much more. You're going to get praise music. You got, uh, what else you got on there? Um, we, I think we'll be able to give you the Bible on there. I'm going to try to get the, the Blue Letter Bible app on there, or the Blue Letter Bible on there, so that people that want to study the Bible. They'll have our Bible studies on there, but you'll also be able to go and read the Bible in different types of the Bible, and you'll be able to go in the Greek or the Hebrew. So that's great news. If people wanted an app, Don got you an app. I was against an app until I heard the price, and I was like, giddy up, praise God. I thought it was going to be a lot more. God is shining down on us. Free is always good. Free is always good, if it's of value. So the Lord blessed us. Um, Speaking of that, let's get into Mark Zuckerberg, and then we are going to get into the T-Mobile announcement. T-Mobile did get back with me. I'm drinking my Eden water. Got good news on the Beamer, too. Um, this knucklehead uh, finally did something. I always get in trouble for my wife because I never read instructions. She says, we, we needed a new coffee pot because my son broke the coffee pot. And I'm going, oh, we, we, our coffee pot's broke. What are we going to do without Hebrews coffee? I'm in, I'm in a panic. Nothing gets me in a panic. Like, how am I not going to get my Hebrews? So I said, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. I'll, I'll get the coffee pot. I'll buy a new coffee pot. She goes, no, 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 no. Every time you buy something, you buy the wrong thing, and you never keep the receipt, and, we, and I can't return it. Guilty. 
guilty, guilty. So I was, uh, I was demoted on getting the coffee pot. She's taking over getting the coffee pot. Well, we get a coffee pot today. Um, but Chris is coming out with a single servings. So that's gonna be great. I had single servings today uh, of, of, the, of the new Hebrews, uh, his glory coffee and the single serving. He gave me a sample. Luckily I had that for today or I would have been in real trouble. Um, I could always put it in the, the mesh too. But anyway, um, uh, so I was, I, was, uh, I was reprimanded and uh, so she's taking over the coffee pot. Um, the, an, another thing came up too um, is about the Beamer. I've been talking about the Beamer, how the Beamer has just really uh, done incredible things. And I haven't got my dog on the Beamer. I keep telling my son, you gotta do the Beamer. So finally, Trudy reached out to me and said, she gave me a picture of her dog. Her dog is a bulldog. He's 17 years old because he's been on the Beamer. So I finally said to my sons, your new job, your new chore every day is to put Maze on the Beamer. We're gonna take a video of Maze being on the Beamer tonight because the water has done remarkable things for my dog. But the Beamer is even better um, because it's getting your body flowing. So I gotta get her on the Beamer. So here's my Beamer story. And this is, this, this is why I call myself a knucklehead. Here I got a Beamer, and this ties into why my wife doesn't want me to buy anything. So I went to Texas, and Trudy was in Texas. I went on the Beamer the one time, and all of a sudden, I have feeling in both right and left toes for the first time since the botulism. Just feeling again, now, eureka. So I'm like, you know what, I, this thing works. I prayed about it, and I said, Let's get one. So we got one uh, when Trudy was with us in Dallas. So I got it through Trudy in Dallas. It shows up. I don't know how to work it. So I just hit the button. I only went there one time. So I'm hitting the button and getting on the Beamer and it's doing great things for me. And I mentioned about two weeks ago, I came down wrong playing basketball with Macaroni Bear and the therapeutic gel from Obey was helping me get through it, but it wasn't working its way out. There was, there was something majorly wrong. So I even went to the chiropractor, the chiropractor adjusted a little bit. But a long story short, if I would read instructions, I would have not had to go through two weeks of pain, literal pain. There is an attachment on the Beamer. And I think they call it the B, the B, the, the B attachment. Well, anyway, it focuses on a specific area of your body. Uh, you can put it on your foot, you can put it. So I put it on the area that was impacted for the last three days. And Eureka, <laughs> it worked. My pain's gone. Chiropractor couldn't take it away. Uh, so I have to read instructions. And uh, Trudy kind of uh, laughed at me and said, you gotta use the B attachment. And I thought, well, yeah, I just figured that out. Three days, it's gone. This is the first day that I have no more pain. So the Beamer works. It even works better than you think it does. But it does help to read the instructions. All right, so uh, let's get into Zuckerberg, then we'll talk about the new T-Mobile deal. Uh, Zuckerberg and Facebook was caught in audio that got to uh, War uh, Elizabeth Warren. Uh, she, he said that she would not be good for tech giants. Nope, uh, Wall Street executives are saying not good for tech giants, e or not, not good for Wall Street. Wall Street uh, bankers are saying that if she's elected, they'll, that if she's running, they will either stay out or uh, vote for Trump. Um, Watch for more resignations in big banks. Uh, Swiss Bank had another re re big resignation. The hammer's coming. They know it's coming down. You're going to see lots of resignations. And unfortunately, a lot of, 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 of weird deaths start to happen in the month of October. We're setting up October for a big November. But you're going to see a lot of resignations and a lot of movement in October to set up a big November. I'm told that November... Uh, around November 5th could be a game changer, but don't lose hope. Lots of movement in October. You can see the shaking. Many things are happening. Big, big, big. Also, uh, so Elizabeth Warren was told by uh, Wall Street uh, executives don't want Elizabeth Warren. You see how they're all turning on Warren and Biden. Uh, they're getting cooked in the squat. Uh, they're teaming up. Um, again, watch for the resignations. Another big resignation came today. Uh, the uh, mortgage scandal, uh, it will come down and um, they have no place to stand. The musical chairs are gonna stop and there's no Credit Suisse, Swiss, COO, yes, that's who it was. Um, bang. All right, his glory, your donations. Your donations are lifeblood as you, some of you have followed us on his glory. 
know that we have over 1500 Bible studies. We do this for free. We have 10 million plus followers all over the world, many uh, Muslim countries, many uh, poor countries. We are not gonna charge for our Bible studies. That's something I will not ever, ever do. So your donations to us are extremely important. Uh, your regular, uh, uh, regular custom donation or reoccurring donation, reoccurring help us because we can plan, helps us do the docu-series and, and much, much more. And if you wanna send a check or money order uh, to our PO box, it's on our website, uh, His Glory TV, you're right there. Here's the deal. We got a deal with T-Mobile. So we have a Verizon deal and we have a T-Mobile deal, okay? So let me tell you how this works and if you wanna participate, this is how it works. All right, so the Verizon deal, you all, are, all know that any, any uh, donation of 1111 or more reoccurring or a custom donation of 125, 125 bucks, that's about the same, you get the 18% Verizon discount. However, it doesn't go on the all-you-can-eat plan. So if you have a regular data plan and it doesn't take the, the, the percentage off your, uh, it's, they do it goofy. Um, each, each carrier does it different. So you have to look at both offers. So if you're a want a Verizon discount, 11.11 or more or $125, when you do your donation, put in the comments, I would like the Verizon discount. That will trigger us to be able to send you the five, four or five step process to get your Verizon discount through Verizon. If you want the T-Mobile discount, here's three ways that we will do the same thing. If you do a donation of 11.11 or more, and or a custom donation of 125 or more and put in the comment section i would like the t-mobile discount t-mobile is offering three different um plans which are really good it's not apples to apples because they they do it differently uh t-mobile does it off the whole thing and they put more packages in there so most are going to probably find that t-mobile is uh you get more bang for your buck if you're t-mobile um anyway there's a regular his glory offer that only his glory can get uh, this is only for his glory. It's, I'm told it's supposed to be the best discount out there uh, because it's part of the overall big government. There's also an incredible discount, best discount I've ever seen for military, current military people. Uh, lines two through six, you get 50% off your T-Mobile. And there's a third program. If there's another deal out there that you find any way else, they will match it and they'll put it on. You have to have the his glory discount code and we will provide you with the His Glory email address so that we can verify it. So 1111 or more or 125 starting today, you can get either Verizon or T-Mobile. So let us know, put it in the comment section of your donations, that way you don't have to send extra emails. If you are currently with T-Mobile, reach out to us same way, they will attach you to the discount. If you want a new line of service, they'll give you, uh, give you the discounts for new line, they will do both. Uh, and it's not for the store. You have to do it through their 1-800 number. That way you're taken care of correctly and they can make sure it's right and we can dot the I and cross the T. So that's the new T-Bumble uh, offering. My son has been begging me. When is that coming out? Uh, it's out, it's out, it's out. All right, Sarah Carter, breaking. Uh, Kamala Harris is calling for, on Twitter, uh, for its Twitter to suspend at real Donald Trump's Twitter account. We tweeted back out, I dare you. If Donald Trump was ever suspended on Twitter, that would usher in the, the, the blackout. Everything would go down. His direct, his direct texting would go out. Uh, yeah, I got the Marines on the back. Psalm, Psalm uh, 23.4 or uh, 23.4 on the back of my, uh, back of my iPhone. Um, that would trigger it. And we're, we're, we're working up to this right now because of the war on mainstream media, the war on tech. He has the ability to go directly to the people through your mobile device. He has a way to go directly to the people through uh, Trump TV. And he has the ability to shut the mainstream down and also to shut social media down. So <laughs> Kamala Harris, if you pull, if, the, if Twitter pulls that nuclear bomb, which may be on purpose to trigger it, there is a plan in place. There is a plan in place. Top, uh, this is this is tying in to um, the B spot for the Beamer. Yeah, it's what, it, what did I say? It's the B spot. I never know, knew how to use the B spot. It must be staying for Beamer. I took the B spot of the Beamer and put it on my leg three days in a row and Eureka, it's gone. 
Why didn't I use the B spot? Because I don't read instructions. Today I've got I've I've been um, I've been um, reeducated twice by my wife and by Trudy. <laughs> I gotta pay attention. I gotta I gotta follow directions. So if we get a new coffee pot, I guess she doesn't want me to put it together. I'm not good at putting things together. Um, they fall apart. So the next piece of news ties into the 17 scandals that we've been talking about. We said, watch the Vatican, watch the Vatican, watch the Vatican. It's going to be the largest scandal in the history of the Catholic Church. You saw yesterday the Pennsylvania up, uh, uproar about trying to shut the clock off on paying off the, um, uh, paying off the, uh, the people who are uh, impacted by the uh, priest abuse. There's, more, there's 31 states that have priest grand juries going. More of that's coming. But that's nothing. That's nothing compared to what's coming. Top officials just today, I think it was today, we tweeted this out, raided uh, the Vatican just as Mike Pompeo and Bill Barr were leaving Italy. They were on Italy and a UK trip. It's coming and the hammer's coming. They raided the top offices of the Vatican. It's coming, man. It's, I told you it's going to be the worst scandal in the history of the Catholic Church. It's going to leave people just, they're not going to do, don't know what to do. I'm going to tell you what you're going to do when this, this comes out. All those who are love, that, that love the Catholic Church, this is the, this is the way, the truth, and the life. We don't need a pope. You have, the, you have the living Christ. That's what it is, the word of God on your heart. Reach to him. It's him plus nothing else. God is waking up and he's exposing his church right before our very eyes. So the top offices of the Vatican were raided today. More to come. More to come. Uh, this is brought to you by Obey. Get the Radical. Radical works so well, I've been just talking about the Radical for the last three days because I haven't needed the Radical. Uh, good stuff. Sometimes this stuff works so great. Uh, too good. Uh, this is the same bottle I've been using for a while too. It helps when you get the B spot on the Beamer to get rid of your pain. That way you don't have to use this. But when I do need to use this, it works great. Then I got the lip balm. And I got to tell you about our, our partners at Jesus Pieces and Obey are, uh, are carrying something that I've been taking since Texas. And this is, uh, I've been taking the active driven uh, terpene, terpenes in oil for the last two weeks. It's made a huge difference. There's over 40 uh, terpenes in this uh, particular oil. Uh, it is a game changer. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. I am no longer on pharmaceuticals. I'm no longer on pain. Um, I have no pain in my hands uh, for the first time in nine years. Uh, how, how many years is it? Two, 2019, 12 years, no pain. Uh, amazing. It's just, it's, and it's no drugs in it at all. No drugs, not a trace, nada. It's all natural. Uh, matter of fact, the, the, the doctor who created this is um, a Christian, and uh, we are going to have him hopefully on His Goy TV when we get in our studio. We're looking for two weeks. We're looking at two weeks, two to three weeks being in the studio, and four to six weeks to have the app. I think God is timing everything to hit around the November time frame. You know, you know God, the studio will be done by November, the app will be done in November. I think God's got something big planned for November. So if you want to check out uh, this incredible uh, uh, oil, you can get that on, at, on, on our His Glory Family Partners on uh, either Jesus Pieces or Obey. They both carry it. It's great stuff. Uh, I took mine today. Uh, also, my doctor said, um, and I have a holistic Christian doctor, um, also said uh, there's certain vitamins you don't have to take anymore, too. I used to take 40 vitamins a day. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Biden asked the media, he sent a letter to all the mainstream media, Fox News, CNN. Uh, if, if, if you forgot, uh, uh, Paul Ryan is on the board of Fox. Uh, Bad Oreo, Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney, Bad Oreo. We'll talk more about that. Uh, with Project Hammer, they've been compromised. Uh, General McInerney, we'll talk about General McInerney again. We, we brought up General McInerney about... Oh, about a year ago. He was the first one to under, undercover Project Hammer. Uh, that goes deep. That's, that, that is the root of all of this. Uh, Ukraine, Russia, Spygate, uh, CrowdStrike, all of it goes back to Project Hammer. Uh, Biden asked the media through a letter to silence Rudy Giuliani, not to let Rudy Giuliani on CNN, Fox News, ABC, CNN, MSNBC, all the fake news. Fox News is fake news too. Other than 
Keep an eye on Tucker Carlson. We have been given a heads up that Tucker Carlson is going to drop a bomb. They are going to be using Tucker Carlson for a key, key component of this. So Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson, watch them. Other than that, well, Laura, Laura Ingram. Other than that, Fox News, forget about it. Biden sent a letter to say, don't have Giuliani on there. Well, why would he do that? Because he knows what's coming. He knows what's hiding. Um, we already said that T Tucker Carlson's coming. I was told by one source that what Tucker Carlson's going to bring is a nuclear bomb. It's going to come through uh, Tucker, not Hannity, on this particular bombshell. So keep an eye on that. It ties right into what next we're going to talk about. General McInerney will go down as one of our uh, American heroes. The same with General Flynn. There's more information about General Flynn out today. Uh, General Flynn's going to get, things are going to turn out just fine for General Flynn. Remember, General Flynn, um, General McInerney, uh, I think it was Admiral Lyons, who has now passed away, and um, who am I forgetting? Um, oh, Admiral Rogers. Those four are, are incredible, 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 incredible. Yes, Tucker's coming out. Has to do with the Vatican and much, much more. Um, well, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. Hang on. Buckle up. Buckle up. General McInerney, Project Hammer. He was the first one to come out on this on March 19, 2017. We, we announced that almost nine, nine, ten months ago. Um, it was funny. We were talking, if you followed us nine, ten months ago, or maybe a year ago, we were saying uh, there's always something that significant always happens on my birthday. Every time something big happens on my birthday, all through my life, March 19th, which is my birthday, something big happens. And it was funny, in 2018, my wife and I were talking and we're saying, you know, nothing happened on my birthday on March 19th of 2017. 2017 was the first year nothing happened. Well, guess what? That's the day Project, or Project Hammer was discovered by General McInerney. And, Gen and this Project Hammer goes back to John Brennan, who, who did a little frame job on Obama before Obama got in. Did a little cleanup, shall we speak? Uh, remember the passport situation? Much more than just the passport. And his personal uh, company cleaned it up, had a little compromising information on some key individuals, took that same compromising intel and weaponized our intelligence service, uh, both Republicans, Democrats, judges, everybody, including foreign partners, Project Hammer so that he had compromising material on everybody so he could use them the way they wanted, including the Supreme Court. That's why you see some rhinos. Jeff Flake is, is compromised. You wonder why Jeff Flake says there's 35 votes in the Senate secretly that are going to impeach Trump. Flake is just speaking out of his, uh, his back end, his six end, because Jeff Flake is tied to a huge scandal that's going down in Arizona tied to no name. Flake is nervous because it's coming back on him. Uh, Paul Ryan, Mitt Romney, they're compromised. Uh, so it's just not Democrats. It's Republicans, too. This is a scandal of biblical proportion. Pun intended. Pun intended. This is going to be an absolute house of cards. As Giuliani said the, yesterday, the house of cards is coming. They're all compromised. And Brennan and Clapper, Brennan is the, is the key component behind this. And it's all coming down. General McInerney, um, I heard from a source today, is giddy because he knows that it is, it is, it is, it is time. We already talked about the Beamer, <laughs> my story on how the B, B attachment of the Beamer works. Tonight, we will get a picture of my golden retriever. Uh, Macaroni Bear and I are going to put uh, our golden retriever, her name is Maze, on the Beamer. We'll take a picture of it. She's going to be on the Beamer starting, uh, starting today. Um, she's already drinking the water and she's jumping around like a puppy. I uh, can't imagine what the Beamer will do. Um, so good stuff. Barr and Durham have talked to the UK, Italy, Ukraine, Australia, and the release of the Australian news by the deep state. See, the deep state is trying to get President Trump again uh, for um, uh, the release of conversations he had with the Prime Minister of Australia about having Bill Barr look into Mueller and where the genesis of the investigation came from. Before we get into that, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu asked the courts to scrap the, co uh, the, the cooperation, the corruption allegation. Also, just today, the Blue and White Party has suspended talks in Israel. So this is happening exactly the way Rabbi Kaduri 
uh, was talking about in his, in, in his book, uh, that there would be a stalemate in the Israeli government, and we're going into the 10 days of awe, and it'll cut, t- tie up to the Day of Atonement. I don't see any breakthrough in the Israeli government into at least the Day of Atonement. Remember, we're on number day two of the 10 days of awe, where we, re- we, we, we reflect and we ask the Lord for the forgiveness of our intentional sins, which we all do, and the unintentional sins that we all do. Speaking of in sins and unintentional sins, we want you to pray for Stacy Dash. Once a member of the family, always a member of the family, we pray. And also not all things are as what people do. People, have been, they've turned on her and the story doesn't seem to be what the media tried to do. And uh, we'll just, we'll leave it at that. We'll pray for her. Uh, we, no matter if somebody did something intentionally or unintentionally, we all are sent, we're all full of sin and we're all, we're all capable of falling. That's why we need the church to build up, not point fingers, not point fingers and be set up. She may have been set up. Uh, we pray truth to be revealed with the truth. The truth is what sets you free. Um, so Australia, we talk about Israeli government, Israeli, Israel, watch that. We're in the second day, 10 days of awe. Uh, on the on the on the 10th of this month will be the 10th or the day of atonement uh young kippur we will give we'll be doing a uh, a meal on that day and also we will do a study on uh, the day of atonement how it fits to christ how we get the term scapegoat how i won't go anymore i won't get ahead of my skis but it's gonna be cool uh so bar and durham are freaking people out uh uh Sebastian Gorka is in Rome right now. The left is freaking out. They're freaking out because of their travel plans. Uh Uh-oh, it's all coming. It's coming. There's no no way to stop it. D-class lights out. It's over. They know it. They're trying to discredit Barr because they know he's bringing the hammer, and they're petrified. Bill Maher, remember the comedian that's not funny? Um, I don't know how anybody's ever thought this guy's funny. He's just a... repugnant just swearing and making fun of the right and uh i don't see any humor i guess i guess my i guess i don't know humor because my sons always say dad you're not funny um uh and you know i forget i I tell them that when i was in high school i was i was i was voted class wittiest but they don't think i'm funny i didn't think bill maher was funny either um but anyway bill maher is calling out biden calling out Biden. He says that there's two different sets of circumstances. If it would have been a, it would have been Don Jr., they would be reporting on this. Has Bill Maher been compromised? Compromise goes both ways. Sometimes you can flip. Yes, he is, but he, he is what Great Oz just said, but you can flip him. Flipping, compromise goes both ways. Is he working on behalf? We think so. Kevin Shipp, he's a former CIA analyst, says the whistleblower and leaker is connected directly to Obama and Brennan. Directly to Obama and Brennan. That's Kevin Shipp. Kevin Shipp is of the know, or in the know, should I say. Uh, Hunter Biden, China investment in the sale of a company that had military applications. More of Hunter Biden is coming out. He, He wears red shoes. Yeah, so it's the, it's the red shoes. I'm not saying he's a good guy. I'm never saying he's a good guy. We pray for him. But I'm saying he's being flipped to show the, the hypocrisy. I don't think that's an accident. Uh, red Shoe Club, though. Sick. These people are sick. They're sick. They're sick. They're sick. Sick, sick, sick. Sick, sick, sick. Uh, there's a reason why they all go together. Um, that's a reason why they all go together. All right, second anniversary of Las Vegas is today. Um, trying to get my His Glory TV up. I got it full screen. I might have to back out of it. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did with my computer. All right, we'll move on. I can't see His Glory TV. Um, I hit a wrong button because <laughs> I didn't read directions. <laughs> I got to read directions on my computer too. Oh goodness! Oh, there you go, right there.
All right, here we go. Uh, we'll continue. Uh, my screen, I froze up doing something. Um, second anniversary of Las Vegas, uh, the Las Vegas shooting. Uh, we still haven't had an answer to what was going on with the Las Vegas shooting. Uh, it's because, as we reported a, a year ago, I think actually True Pundit was the first one um, to report this, uh, that it was all about an assassination attempt of a, ro ro a Saudi royal. And uh, it's because of, of uncovering the deep state in Saudi Arabia. That was the purpose. There was one, more than one shooter. There were snipers. Snipers. Eden Water. Uh, get your Eden Water. Uh, we told you how, what this is doing to our dogs. It is absolutely incredible. I drink it every day. Uh, it's good stuff. Get it. Uh, our body is 70% water. We need to have that in us to make us feel better. Um, Mike Pompeo calls out the Dems for uh, politicizing the Giuliani. Uh, they also, as you see, the Democrats have subpoenaed Rudy Giuliani for documents uh, coming to this. Um, this is going to be interesting. They didn't, you notice they subpoenaed the documents, not Rudy himself. They don't want Rudy to testify because Rudy would blow them up. Well, they fa fail to forget that uh, Rudy is the president's attorney. That's under privilege. He's not going to give any documents up. Uh, and if he was going to give documents up, he was going to show them to the American people where he wants it in a public hearing. I would love to see Rudy Giuliani. Uh, can't, we can't call them the C word. Um, we we'll have to call them something else because uh, the, the C word has been banned. Uh, roaches. We'll call them roaches. Uh, the roaches and Giuliani in a public hearing would be enough for popcorn. And that, and in that case, you can't have a Diet Coke. That, that, would, be, uh, that would be priceless. We already said Sebastian Gorka is in Italy. Why is he in Italy? Why is Sebastian Gorka in Italy? Uh, inquiring minds want to know why is he in Italy? I think I'm trying to get that back. I don't know what I did with my computer. Might be the deep state trying to knock us out. Who knows? Um, we're still going. We're still going. Yeah, they're, they're attacking the, that's computer. Sea roaches, yeah, that's what we'll use, we'll see roaches. Bozo, yeah, bozo, they, bozo they can't get, right? Maybe I said it and they've, they come after my computer. Let me see if I can get out of here and come out, come out again. All right, I, I don't know why we're not getting it. Um, the deep state must be trying to get my computer. Um, it's Apple. Uh, changing of the guard yesterday was significant. There was a uh, signal to changing of the guard. Uh, we, we have the new General Miles from the Army replacing the general who is of the, part, the Department of Navy, Marine uh, Dunford. That is a signal, uh, a signal, a signal, a signal um, to a changing of the guard. All right, we'll just leave it alone. It's not coming back. All right, we mentioned Jesus Pieces is another one of our partners. Uh, Jesus Pieces is going to have a clothing line. It's going to have some um, uh, some other uh, jewelry line. That's why it's called Jesus Pieces, Pieces of Jesus. Uh, so, so you'll get some unique clothing there. Plus, they are going to be like a super partner, which will carry all of our partners on their website and future website or future partners, so you can go into one place because we won't be able to get all future partners on. Um, so please visit Jesus Pieces. You can get the, uh, uh, the terpenes oil there. Uh, so go visit Jesus Pieces. Uh, Pelosi is ne ne neck deep in this. She is neck deep. There's an article that we, we, we came out with uh, that she is neck deep. In the Ukraine, there's pictures coming out with an Ukrainian female. Uh, the House of Cards, it's all coming out. Remember Nancy, as President Trump said to her, Nancy, don't forget, a contract is a contract. He knew what she tried to do. And he's talking about a mafia term of contract. Nancy Pelosi is going to be cooked in the squad. It's coming back. We know, Nancy, it's coming back. Um, a young, um, 
A young protester was shot with a live round in Hong Kong today. The 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 the, uh, the Hong Kong uh, riot is rioters or demonstrators are getting more aggressive. Today was the uh, a celebration of the 70th anniversary of the regime um, uh, regime of China. So they were coming against them, and uh, they were shot with a live round. The things in China are starting to escalate even more and more. Um, D- Deep State ICIG released a statement on why it was necessary. Uh, to change the whistleblower form ahead of this whistleblower and this um, uh, this 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 the scandal that's coming out that's boomerang, and there are many rats in the deep state, and they're 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 in panic mode because they're coming. They know he won't quit. They know that Trump and the team will not quit. They're co- they're going. They're going after it, and justice will come one way or another. Justice is coming. Uh, justice is coming. Um, and it is coming, and it's coming, and it's coming. Uh, feds paid one billion in Social Security benefits. The federal, our federal government, paid one billion dollars in Social Security benefits to individuals who didn't even have a Social Security number. That's our government. Uh, they want to take care of the illegals. Oh, you can't say that in New York City. Good thing I'm not in New York City. But um, they want to pay one billion dollars. To people who don't have a social security card, social security number, not even a social security number. Federal judge tosses out lawsuit against Trump, uh, which is uh, the state and federal tax cap. Uh, the judges you see, 150 judges that he's putting in place and more are starting to pay off. Uh, law, law, law is coming back. Tom Brokaw and Matt Lauer were accused, of, had more accusers come forward. Um, uh, getting hotter and hotter, especially with Tom Brokaw. Uh, MSNBC cut off a accuser, and uh, it's it's heating up again. Nexum, Epstein, and these sexual scandals. Everything is is peaking at the right time, at the right right time. It is. It is. It is happening, but it's not happening on my TV. I can't get it. Where's Don when I need him? His Glory TV won't work on my computer. Uh, But it seems like it's working for everybody else. The chat's continuing. Uh, So we told you the feds paid $1 billion. Dems vote to enhance uh, medical coverage for illegals for free now, but they delayed the vote for veterans who've been waiting for the same medical care for 10 years. (sighs) Insane. Tom Brokaw, we talk, talked about Senate impeachment trial. Senate impeachment trial, realize this. Senate impeachment trial means that Trump can put Hillary, Obama, and the deep state on trial. They can bring everything, everything. They can bring everything out. Giddy up. Um, downer is going down, according to Papadopoulos. New York Times today, uh, Trump published the, uh, the uh, Australia PM to help Barr investigate what Mueller did. The New York Times is trying to flip it around. And uh, all that President Trump said is let Bill Barr go and find the genesis of the scandal and what Downer did to spy on the United States of America. You can see they're getting hit on every way. Joe DeGeneva calls out Fox News and specifically Chris Wallace and called him a liar. Gee, you think Tucker and Joe DeGeneva are going after Shep and Wallace and um, Juan Williams? There is internal fighting going. Um, <laughs> oh, it's getting giddy up. General Flynn, uh, attorney says that the 2017 plea deal should be thrown out. Uh, that his plea, his his hearing or his his. Uh, the next time he meets is in, is in uh, November. November is going to be one to get your popcorn ready for. Uh, justice is coming, boomerang. General Flynn will go down as American hero. Uh, his attorney, Powell, once Powell was put in place, and you knew Judge uh, uh, Sol- Sullivan, he knew all, all about Project Folsom. Again, if you're new, Project Folsom is where the MI6, the UK, spied. And uh, that's why... But that's why Barr was in the UK too. He's going back, and they're coming. They're and they're not messing around. Um, 
<laughs> Goodness gracious. So POTUS uh, came against uh, Powell today of the Fed Reserve. Uh, our manufacturing numbers were low. Um, watch job reports this week. Uh, President uh, Trump went after the Fed Powell, said that the dollar's too strong. The Fed needs to lower rates. They don't know what they're doing. Uh, that's putting pressure to lower rates quickly. Expect at least 50 point rate cut before the end of the year. And also today, Australia lowered their interest rates. So it's setting a precedent that they must lower interest rates. The Fed has already been cooked. It's just part of the plan. Part of the plan, part of the plan, part of the plan. Um, October 15th is a big day. That is when China uh, China's in, uh, tariff goes to 30%. So watch a lot of things. The China, the, the, the market got spooked today because of jobs report and it sold off. Uh, China did announce today that they're buying 1 million tons of soybeans. So that will help put a damper on, uh, help with the farmers. But October 15th is gonna be a big day, uh, a big deadline. The, uh, all of China's top negotiators will be in Washington, D.C. next, I think it's next week or the end of this week, to try to put a deal together. They're running out of time, uh, October 15th. Let's see if they delay it for another week or if they get a deal done. They have nowhere to run but to get a deal done. They see President Trump is not backing down. He's not backing down with Ukraine. You know why he's not backing down with Ukraine? He knows exactly what Biden did. He knows what Obama did. He knows what Fusion GPS did. He knows what Nellie Orr did. He knows what uh, CrowdStrike did with the server of Hillary Clinton. He also knows where that server went to. That server went to the Chinese. It all goes back to China, routed through CrowdStrike and all these corrupt individuals and companies back to China. Ukraine was the center point to this. It's all coming down. China knows he's not going to give up. White House to um, drill in the Arctic. They announced today that they're going to drill in the Arctic. They're drilling everywhere. Drill, baby, drill. What else, what else is in the Arctic? Maybe there's something else in the Arctic. We don't know. We don't know what else is in the Arctic. There could be something in there. You may not want to open it up. What's in Greenland? What's in Greenland? Hmm, there's alert. Be alert about what's in Greenland and what is in the Arctic. It's going to be coming out and it's extremely important. What's happening in Greenland right now is extremely important and you'll know what's going on there uh, in time. Um, it is being used strategically and there is much going on in Greenland and very fascinating that we are drilling in the Arctic. Uh, so uh, lots of news. Expect to be, uh, expect the unexpected in the next few hours to days. Uh, much is happening. Things are going at record speed. You see St uh, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo meeting with Italian President Sergei Mattarella right now. Uh-oh. Italy, the Ukraine, uh, Australia, UK uh, are all spilling it. They're co it's coming out. There's no stopping them. There's no stopping. There's no accident. Mike Pompeo is there. It's no accident that uh, Sebastian Gorka, no accident that Bill Durham or uh, Bill Barr and Durham were in uh, Italy and the UK. They're, they're, they mean business. They mean business. That wraps up today's Take 5. We pray for each and every one of you uh, that the, the glory of God comes upon you and you have this peace and shalom and you take these 10 days of awe and you seek Him. You seek Him in His Word. Uh, you seek Him in prayer because the only thing that we can count in in this world of fake church, fake news, fake movie stars, fake everything, Oh, I forgot about the Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. I didn't say this. Uh, I had a source tell me this about five days ago, that Hillary Clinton met with uh, Elizabeth Warren. And part of the meeting to meet with Elizabeth Warren was to have Hillary come back and run again and Elizabeth Warren to run as vice president for Hillary Clinton. Um, that would make sense why Facebook and also uh, Wall Street is coming against Elizabeth Warren to try to knock her out, to give HRC another last gasp chance to do this. And today, Steve Bannon said, I think it was, I don't remember where he said it, but he said, Hillary Clinton is running for president again. She's running for president again. Guess what? She won't make it. She won't get there. Hard to be a president with an ankle bracelet. Uh, we could call her uh, an ankle bully. <laughs> that's, that's Macaroni Bear's song. Uh, Mac, uh, 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 what did he call it? Ankle bully. Uh, 
If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so we pray for our president. Well, this is a very intense time. Also, U.S. North Korea to resume talks after a long stall. You see there's breakthroughs coming through. There's dark, but there's breakthroughs. We're seeing light. There's light. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. But for the, those in the dark, the tunnel, there's a train coming right at them, and there's nowhere to run. There's no train track to jump off. It's coming beating ahead right on them, and uh, there's nowhere to run. So we pray for our president. We pray for our military. We pray for Pompeo, the, 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 all the Giuliani, the protection, Tucker Carlson, all those who are um, involved in this bring down, General McInerney, uh, General Flynn, uh, Admiral Rogers continuing to do things uh, for the United States of America. God bless them all. Uh, their protection, our military, our men and women in law enforcement, Coast Guard, National Guard, which may, may be very important if things go to a dark or a knockdown status. They are very, very, very close to doing that. Uh, so stay alert. If it does go down, don't panic. God's got it. And you'll get a message coming out. Uh, and we pray uh, for each and every one of you that you may be the light in these end days to a family member, to a friend, or even a stranger. May the love of Jesus Christ bless each and every one of you to the next Take 5. God bless.